Scoop Sunday. Welcome to Hollywood Spotlight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our Saturday segment. Celebrity New Saturday. We are very late on getting Sunday. to this video, so yeah, it is now Sunday. And Good morning, everybody. This is your morning news segment. Actually, it might be morning in some places, and it actually might be nighttime in some places. Technically, it's so, morning now, but yeah. It's morning uh, here in Ohio. It is like 2.03 right now in Ohio. So, yeah. See, he's sleeping. I gotta right. get up at like around 9 to go to work, too. Yeah. Anyway, enough about us. Now to the serious news. So, um, our top story tonight. Lindsay Lohan's mom now gets arrested for a DUI. <laughs> Godless to say, her daughter. This whole family. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if Lindsay rubbed off from her mother and father or if she rubbed off on her parents herself. Well, maybe it was low-key the whole time that her parents were like, or at least her mom was like, yeah, on drugs and shit, yeah. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, she'll go down the alley of, my daughter's been in so many crises and everything, it's so stressful, I had to have myself a drink. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just think that's pretty sad that your daughter's been in trouble so many times. And now look at yourself. Look what you're doing for yourself. I think you guys just want attention. Just saying, at least it's not as bad as, um, as all the shit that Lindsay has done, though. Very true. I mean, she's been, she's done like drugs and shit. Like, yeah, I've done my drugs. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'll know exactly what Lohan saying, but... family just needs to stay under the radar for a while. And it's such a shame. I, I, I keep saying this. Lindsay Lohan used to be, at least she seemed like such a nice kid or whatever when she was younger, but now she's just like a mess. She is. Every child star is a mess now, besides that one guy that I can never remember the name of, uh, uh something God. Gordon Lovett. Oh, uh, the guy that's on... I don't remember, well, is his name Jason? I don't know. Jason Gordon Lovett? I don't know. David. Okay. David Gordon Lovett, that's his name. He's the only childhood star that is not a mess right now. He was on, um... Um... <laughs> yeah, he was on that show a long time ago, guys. Um, so I'm talking about, if they don't know who it is, it's, uh, the guy that was on Inception with, uh... Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. yeah. He... He was a younger kid. He also <laughs> played in that bike movie, uh, uh, with the racing to the blah, 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 push, but no, it was a push, it was, uh... It was a... Uh, uh, yeah, it was a bike movie, and they were, like, racing through New York City on bikes to get people their mail and shit. Uh, it started with a P, it didn't right? it? No, it wasn't right. It started with a P, I believe. I don't know. I'll think about it when I'll think of it when this thing's over. Anyway, if you haven't seen that movie, it's really good. If you look up his bio or something like yeah. that, you'll figure He's it out. He's in a lot of things. So if you don't know the name, but type it in, you'd be like, "Oh, that guy," because you know you've seen him somewhere in every movie that you've ever watched. That movie was so good. Just saying. I know that's off subject, but it was. Okay, I'm not gonna try and give too much of the movie away, but this, the whole movie it was him We're on a making the de making the lip. Making the, these awesome deliveries of stuff that, on a bike the whole movie. Yeah. Anyway. What was that called? I don't even remember what it was called. Okay. Our next story. Um. So, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. So many breakup rumors have been going around, and then they shot them down for a while. But now it looks like that it's basically true. It isn't really happening. Um, Liam Hemsworth has been caught... Premium Rush. I'm sorry, I... It's called Premium Rush. Premium Rush. <laughs> Premium Rush. Okay, go on. I'm sorry. I knew it started with me. Anyway, um, Liam, Hem Liam Hemsworth has been seen again with... I might have some blank. What's her name? Uh... Oh, lady. Oh. <laughs> um... We're too tired right now. We can't think of names. You just said her name like two seconds ago. Yeah, when we I were did. talking out there. Oh. Um, uh. Well. Some blonde lady. Yeah, she's a, she's <laughs> a movie star. Um, but he's been 
No, I'm a crocher. Okay, he's been spotted with her in past times leaving after parties at awards and everything while he was still engaged to Cyrus. Well, he's been in Australia for like the past four months. And in that time period, Miley has literally been going around, throwing herself at the camera, as we all know, as a slut-teasing horror bag. <laughs> so, um, and he doesn't like her behavior that's happening while he's away, and I don't blame him one bit at all. Um, because I wouldn't want to marry a tramp either. <laughs> but I guess, so, they have said that, he has been spotted out with, oh, I can't remember this lady's name, but he's been spotted out with her some more, and um, they're thinking that he's actually sending it back to Miley Cyrus as, fuck you, I want her because she's not a slut like you. Right. And then, as of today, Miley Cyrus has unfollowed her own fiancé from Twitter because of whatever's happening with, I want to know this chick's name, I forget this chick's name. Um. But, yeah, because of this girl. And, Kate Moss! Kate Moss! That's, no. No, Kate Moss. We're no, talking about that's Kate a Moss. different story. I was about to say, we were Kate talking, Moss is a different story. We were, we were talking about Kate Moss. Anyway. Right? Um. Anyway. Um. And, so yeah, she's not following her own fiance on Twitter anymore, and, yeah. I think that's so fucking ridiculous after that performance on uh, the MTV uh, Music Awards. She was like, fucking, she's like, I don't know why y'all had such an issue with it. I mean, you, uh, y'all got, got a dirty mind or something like that. How can you not have a fucking dirty mind you looking at You gave us dirty shit? images, bitch. Right. <laughs> and not only that, but you're practically man-humping a man that's like 17 years older than you on stage. And you have a fiance. What is your fucking issue? And your fiance after that has made reports about like not liking it and shit like that. Right. Ugh. I'm sorry. She's the most trashiest person I know right now. She should go be friends with Lindsay Lohan. And they should like girl it up and have an orgy together. And she's so talented. She's wasting it. Her, some of her earlier shit was actually pretty good. Some of it, it was so good. I will yeah. admit, her new song "Wrecking Ball." Actually, it has pretty good lyrics to it, but the music video takes away from how emotional it's really supposed to be, and she just fucks it up. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I read a funny report about that talk thingy, by the way, too, but I decided to put it on this newscast. But, uh, the Gene Simmons commented on her tongue, because everybody knows he's the king of tongue sticking out. <laughs> so, um, and he basically said it was okay. It's not the best you've seen a female do. <laughs> <laughs> and he basically said it's a, it should be a woman's job to keep the tongue in the mouth unless it's going on sticks. So, yeah. That, that was Gene Simmons' input on it. But he also didn't see a big deal in what she did at the MTV Movie Awards. Because he's like, you have Lady Gaga, Rihanna, and Pink out there doing the exact same thing. What's wrong with her doing it? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with her doing it. She's only 20 years old, for one thing. Second thing, she was known as a Disney star. That's what's wrong with it, right there. She has little children watching her, like Justin Bieber does. And did you see her ass in that fucking skin-tight rubber shit? Whatever the fuck that swimsuit <laughs> We don't even want to know. <laughs> oh, fuck. If you, haven't, so if you haven't seen up close, like, I didn't even know this until I saw this picture on Facebook, like, where, they, like, showed her ass or whatever, and then they showed somebody looking like through it or whatever. Somebody was actually watching it, but they didn't actually get a real shot of that. Um, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's all on Miley for the moment. <laughs> More on Miley later. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, um, well, next story. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know who Gucci Mane is. I don't really, I haven't really listened to any of his, his uh, music, but uh, he's a rapper, and I guess he was arrested for um, because like, I guess one of his friends basically, quote unquote, waved down cops and, and said uh, to complain about his um, erratic behavior or whatever. About I don't know exactly what that meant because I didn't 
I only read one little uh, segment of that story. I didn't further research it. But, um, why are you laughing at me? I don't think I got one. <laughs> anyway. And I guess he w was, uh, arrested. The cops tried to talk to him or whatever, and he got mad. And he was cussing out the cops, and he was fa found with marijuana and with a gun. Congratulations, pissing off the co cops, getting arrested with the possession of a gun and weed. Good job. Wow. That's all I have to say on that. Okay. Rappers, I tell you, fucking idiots. Yeah, that's what, that's the only thing that I hate. Rappers think they own everything. And it's like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. Just say this is all subject too, but when Kanye West got up on stage and said microphone from Taylor Swift a few years back in the VMAs, yeah, fuck you, black boy, <laughs> fuck you. No, I'm not racist, but I'm racist towards him because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm racist towards people I don't. Like. Um. Okay. Um. Shares. Okay. Russia is going, getting ready to have their Olympics. Apparently they have their own set aside Olympics from what we do and participating in what the rest of the world does. Um, but the Olympics are going to be happening in Russia and the guy called up Cher and he wants, wanted her to sing the opening song for the Olympics to open them up and get the crowd going and everything. Cher said no immediately because she, cause they, apparently Russia has a gay policy on there's not allowed to be no gay people in their country. Wait, seriously? Yes. No what? gay people, no gay marriages, nothing to do with gays. And that's why she said no, because she's like, I'm not racist. And she's like, it's I have. Biased, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. And I guess apparently she has a gay relative that she's very close to. And she's like, I'm not going to offend my own family because of your belief. So I thought that was a quite interesting story. And. Plus, well, was she thinking also about her daughter, maybe? Maybe. Because, oh, Ch Chastity or Chaz now. That, that, yeah, that might be very true. That might be who she was talking about when she said relative. So. Wow, that's really fucked up, though. Wow. I mean. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Russia was that tight on gays. That's, I mean. That's just thank God that we live in America where that kind of fucked up shit doesn't go down. Right. I mean. Some of us Americans might be like, okay, yeah, I don't care if that happens to gay people, but see, I care, that's fucked up. They're still a human being, but you don't treat right. people like that. Everybody has their own right and opinion to what they do in their life, so. Next story. Wow. Um, I guess, uh, I guess he wants to be called Diddy now, uh, but. Can't make that, up his fucking just, mind. Let's just say Sean Combs. <laughs> another th sorry to interrupt you, but another thing about rappers, they are constantly changing their fucking name. Yeah, he went from P Diddy to Diddy. Oh wait, I think there's another. I think there's a different. Oh, I think he went from wanting to be called P Diddy, then to uh, Sean Combs, and he's like, okay, just call me Diddy. Yeah, he got, he went with Diddy one time before too, but they changed it back to P Diddy, and it, yeah, it's a anyway, mess. Go on. I right. guess uh, Diddy. Lo lost um one million dollars in a dice game and he was just like oh it's nothing there's like a little there's a little video it's probably posted on youtube or so, uh, somewhere else um i didn't show the, this to you yet but he was like it, it's kind of funny he just like takes a, a swig from a vodka bottle and then well actually okay the, the video starts out with a, a, a little piece of paper that says, that says i owe you one million dollars Blah, 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 whatever. And then he, then he puts it down on a table, takes a swig out of the vodka bottle, rolls the dice, and then he was like, oh man, I lost, basically was like, uh, oh man, I lost it, or whatever. And then the guy that's sitting under the other table was like, yeah, I won a million dollars. But yeah, I'm like, wow, a <laughs> million dollars? You know what I would do for a million dollars? I want to play <laughs> games with Batman. <laughs> right. But I had a game drop first. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I don't have much more on that story. I just read a little mini segment on it. Anyway, come on. <laughs> so this is this is when you know paparazzi's have gone too far. Um, Nicole Kidman just got reportedly knocked out by a paparazzi. 
just to get a picture of her falling down on high heels. They, oh, I saw that story too. They literally, I guess, they hired a bike rider to go flying past her at the airport and push her down on the ground to make it look like she tripped on her own feet. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, it seriously wow. fucked up. Like, paparazzis are going too far these days. I didn't read that much of that story. Yeah, like, I read the whole entire thing. Like, it was, like, seriously jacked up. I just saw something. I kind of just skimmed through it. and I Pushing really... somebody down to make them look like they tripped over their own feet just fucked up. Keith Urban go fuck those men up. That's what I got to say about Fox. <laughs> I know your wife's taller than me. <laughs> yeah, I don't got much more to say on that story. <laughs> That's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. Fuck paparazzi. All right, now see, I'm gonna attack them. How's that, you bitch? Well, I have something about to say, say about that later in this story. Yeah, there's another this... paparazzi story coming up. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, and then and the next story is Charlie Sheen. I guess went back and actually got his high school diploma. That surprises me. Charlie Sheen. I mean, this is the guy that fucking got kicked off of the ABC show because mm -hmm. of like. Drinking too much and shit like that, and, and for actually, Being a man whore. well, technically he got kicked off of, uh, Two and a Half Men because he insulted his, uh, his, uh like the, the top producer, or was the I can't remember, but one of those well, guys. He insulted his castmates too. Yeah. <laughs> the the he man that to sue him, the fucking actually. went crazy and had like a billion rants. He went back and got his high school school diploma. I guess he just got it, but um. There were reports uh, on TMZ of Kiefer Sutherland. They asked Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland about him uh, because I guess Kiefer Sutherland and uh, Charlie Sheen were in uh, Top Gun together. I've never really seen that movie. I've heard of it. You haven't seen Top Gun? No. Oh my god. I've never seen Top Gun. Uh, but, well, we have a right here in Ohio at Kings Island, which is a big theme park. Called Top Gun. That's the closest I came to Top Gun. I've rode the ride. You are so, you're so lame. I am so pathetically lame. Yes, blah blah blah. But um, yeah. That's, that's fine. Oh, and I guess I keep her Sutherland. So Keith Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. That's a weird name. I just broke my name. <laughs> anyway, I guess he's uh, sort of jealous of uh of Charlie Sheen because he's like, hey, that's he has one thing up over me. I'm kind of jealous. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm sorry. Well, you know what I think? I think Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, and Miley Cyrus just need to get in a room together to have an orgy. They would make... If they produce They'd the make baby, the most weirdest baby ever. If they produce the baby. It would Actually, be that like, baby might be smart. Maybe, because <laughs> I mean, you know two ugly people make a beautiful baby, supposedly. Definitely three ugly people. And I've heard, actually I've heard that you have sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but I've heard sometimes, you, have, you get two really stupid people together, and they make a baby, then the baby turns out being, like, really smart. Kesha. Anyway. <laughs> um, Alright, this is really fucking stupid. Um, well, we all saw the VMA performance of Miley Cyrus, yada, yada, yada. Um, so... I guess this was just reported that 105 moms called the FCC on how they let that trash happen on a network that their kids watched. Well, the FCC has fought back, and I must say, this is pretty hilarious. I have to give a thumbs up to the FCC for this, once in a lifetime, for this. They basically told them to look at the age of life that they are living in, and they actually called these mothers old, old-fashioned mothers. And then they literally sent all 105 of these mothers back the top 10 most discouraging TV moments ever that happened that they let slide by. Including Janet Jackson's nip slip in the NFL. <laughs> I mean, like, they just, like, did, like, a bunch of sexual things and, like, sent them to them. Like, the top 10 things. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, I know this is random, but I was, like, keep watching the Super Bowl the year that happened. But I happened to walk out of the room when the, the halftime show went by, and I'm like, Okay, not even just to see, it's not just because I'm a guy, and I'm like, oh my god, I could have seen, seen a boob, blah, 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 blah. Not, not because of that, I'm just like, I could have seen, like, one of the most crazy moments in TV, but I just decided to walk into the other room. <laughs> That's because the Super Bowl's boring. Damn me. Anyway. 
Oh, well, I, I heard Janet Jackson. I'm like, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna watch her. Oh my god, I don't like her. I don't like her. She's not hot, so. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I give the FCC a thumbs up for that one. I, I would think that the FCC would be, well, honestly, I think if it was more than 105, they probably would do something yeah. about it. They, and that would probably fuck up a yeah, lot of like, things for us. That would make right, everything like all Right, like it's already fucked up as like, it is. I mean, hell, they might even fuck up this. Can't they fuck? Can't they shit? I don't I'll, know. I'll, you, we have to edit. Uh, we have to edit YouTube videos now. When you upload your video, we actually go through a censor program and censor all the bad words you say, but and no, then we post it. There's another random thing, but I don't know if you've have heard this, but there actually is or was a piece of legislation that was going around to like majorly go through like YouTube videos or whatever and like you can post uh like bits of of uh songs or whatever that were from artists like licensed songs and stuff oh, like yeah, that. You can't, or I mean you can't really do that now. To do that you actually have to like tell them that you have a permit or at least love to do that. Well I mean they tried to make it like so that you can't even have it like in the background, for example, if we got a stereo in here playing Whatever song, then they, they, yeah. That's stupid. I don't, I think that legislation got killed because that was a couple of years ago and I haven't heard it bit about it anymore. Although, yeah, anyway. <laughs> government. Thanks, Bruce. Okay, I've never heard of this show, this show or this guy, but there's this guy named, uh, Omar Gooding that hosted this child show I guess I guess back in, I think it was that back in the 90s I don't know they they mentioned other shows that he uh hosted back in the 90s but some shows back in the 90s or current time or whatever that uh it's called Wild and Crazy Kids um yeah Wild and Crazy Kids <laughs> and uh I guess he was charged with a DUI and he was also caught with the, the Sorry. Uh, he was also charged with uh, possession of marijuana, and I guess he was also high on marijuana when he was caught. So that's pretty scary. And she doesn't have anything to say about the story, so she's gonna make a weird face. I don't even face. know who this fucking dude is. I don't either, but I'm I'm just like <laughs> shocked. I'm like, holy crap, he's a kids show host. Well, I'm what like, do you think happened to guy from Blue's Clues? And and the, anyway. <laughs> and the woman that played Barney. I'm gonna play Barney. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> What's up with all these people from these kid shows being They're so getting inspired up? by childhood stars. <laughs> well, this is every time I hear something about this, I don't know why, but I don't know if you guys have watched much of uh, Two and a Half Men, but it always goes back to when Charlie, uh, Charlie Sheen, not of course, playing Charlie on there, uh, was playing. It, when he, you know, lost his, uh, jingle career or whatever, uh, and he decided to go into children's songs as Charlie Watts. <laughs> um, and I'm like, and also that one time he went on, uh, What the fuck are you talking about? Why are we talking about this? If these, if these <laughs> people have watched Two and a Half Men, they would know. Okay? What's I gotta do with all you just talked about? Really? Two and a half men is not a child program. Children's program. Child program. It reminds me because he went to. Uh, to Yo, we are, you were babbling too much on this. He went These into, are news stories, you know that? I don't care. <laughs> technical difficulties. There's no technical difficulties. Okay, well, that's all I got to say about that. that that's just shocking that. You just he's a totally child star. smeared up our camera, dude. Like, it's like, there um, He's a star that... Hosts... What are you uh, doing? I fixed it. He's a guy that hosts a uh, child's show, and he, he gets a DUI. Okay, next. What's that? Like if you think it's crazy, comment if you think it's not that crazy. Okay. Um, so this, uh, is, uh, so this uh, is, 
and this was not technically said, but it was said by the actor. Um, so E News was, or this magazine, I don't know, something to do with E News. They were interviewing Robert Pattinson, and they asked him what he wanted in a new girl since him and Kristen Stewart broke up. And he basically said that he wanted somebody that knew what they wanted to do in their life and that kind of stuff. But then later on in the um, interview, he, he said um, it it works well or that just doesn't work well together and stuff. And he made the comment that he feels like he's on Project Runway every time he says that. So hint to that. He might watch Project Runway, which is pretty hilarious if you ask me. And he doesn't have a girlfriend right now. So. Uh, <laughs> and um, he also, they also ask him who is... Uh, maybe he's a hate crew fan. <laughs> maybe. Or worse, maybe he's a Tom Gun, uh, Tim Gunn fan. Damn it, why do I always try to say that? Tim Gunn. Anyway, um... Okay. Anyway, um... And he, sure. No, it has to do with Josh and Cindy videos. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, and they also ask him who um, was his Hollywood crush when he was a little boy. And this is a pretty funny uh, childhood crush. Um, well, his first one was Kate Moss, which, a.k.a. was Leia, got confused with Liam Hemsworth dating, because that's not true. Um, but, yeah, he had a crush on Katie Moss. And this one's really fucking funny. <laughs> right beside Katie Moss, he had a picture of the girl that played in The Exorcist <laughs> as the exorcism girl. And uh, that was, it was just pretty funny because he thought she was hot too. <laughs> and he said, well, I have two odds to weigh out on now. A possessed girl and Katie Moss. <laughs> How uh, do you feel about that, Katie Moss? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 I mean, you have a competition here. But just remember that possessed girl might kill you and take over your body too. <laughs> but then again, the possessed yeah, yeah. girl might be prettier than the Richard Don Possessed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next story. Um Uh Kanye it was to attack the paparazzi. Next paparazzi story. That's crazy. Um I guess he actually issued a warning to, uh, before he arrived at this, uh, I think it's the L, uh, I think it's LAX, um, that for all paparazzi to stay away from him because I guess for some reason he's a ba in a bad mood, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and. That baby ain't working out too well for you now, is it, sweetie? I don't know if he attacked a TMZ reporter or if it was just a random paparazzi just trying to make some money or whatever. Um, but TMZ showed a little clip of him, of him, uh, of some cameraman trying to talk, talk to Kanye West and, and saying, hey, Kanye, uh, what's up with you or whatever and stuff like that. And he was like, I don't know, he was saying some other things I couldn't really hear. Um, but th then Kanye was like, you know what, don't talk to me. Get away from me. He, uh, he was like looking around at all the other paparazzi. He was like, get, you know what, you need to get away from me right now. And he was like, yeah, and then after that, he went around the other side of the car, and he was like, uh, he was like, so you're trying to get me to say something or whatever, something like that, uh, to get like 150,000 out of me, blah, 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 because uh, maybe he was two bucks, or that uh, not my, uh, point. I don't know, I'm not, I don't 100% follow celebrity news too well. You're not good at newscasting. I know. Um... <laughs> I know I am not that good at newscasting. <laughs> Basically, to the thing of this uh, story, Kanye West is still a dick, always will be a dick, and I don't know why you're dating a Kardashian, I don't know why you had a kid in the story. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe he's having issues with uh, Kim. Um, like, oh my god, why are you going to do that? I told you I was changing the diaper. God, Kanye. But, um, yeah, that's pretty crazy, um... Don't get mad at my sister, they didn't do nothing. You don't like my hair blonde? Ugh! Oh, that looks awful. Just saying. 
Why would she dye her hair blonde? She's a Kardashian. Because it makes sense she now. Has a, she has... <laughs> <laughs> well... And now it's Kaylin's new friend. She has a beautiful, dark Kardashian hair, and she ruins it with blonde. Why? Makes sense now. They shall be blonde. Um, and our final story of the night, the snubs of the Emmys. The fuck? The Walking Dead got snubbed out of every Emmy. That's a comedy, of course, it went to comedy. But, yeah. Um. <laughs> comedy. <laughs> that would be hilarious if that got, uh, got nominated for that. Anyway. Um. There was, like, a bunch of TV shows that got snubbed, though, and they have, like, ginormous amounts of like hatred going towards them because of all the people that all the shows that they have snubbed and just how terrible the, sh the show is going to be this year because all they do is keep hitting the same awards to the same people that's won in like the past the past five years so that's crazy you know how much how many ratings and how how much uh how much uh i can't think of the word I'm too tired right now. Yeah, there's how much of a fan base there is for The Walking Dead. I mean, The Walking Dead had a had like a startup already of of fans because there was a lot of people that already read the uh, comic books even before the show came around. And yeah, so not only that, but there's like a hundred more good drama television shows out there than just Mad Men and stuff like that. I mean, I've never watched Mad Men, but I'm like, this looks really stupid. It is like, stupid. I've seen enough of the the uh, previews of it and, and clips and on I TV and it. commercials. I'm like, and I have to, I I seriously have to agree with the people that messaged all these things to them saying that they've been handing out the same awards to the same people in the past five years. Because I have watched the Emmys, and they do do that, and that's why I'm going to stop watching the Emmys, because there's no point. Once that show gets retired, they're still going to be giving them Emmys. It's just like fucking Joan Rivers saying in the fucking 1930s. 50s. <laughs> but yeah, you get the drift. I mean, it's never going to change. So. I mean, it's just fucked up. So that's all for Hollywood Spotlight. Good night! And we will see you next weekend with our two new videos. And if you have any idea of what we can do next week, please comment down below and leave us your thoughts and interest in what you want to see next. Please, please tune in next time, next Saturday or Sunday. For and Friday, we always do on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> For, well, I'm saying for our Hollywood Spotlight. Yeah! Whoa, that was so weird. Like, some car just went by our house and I had a bass. I kid you not, I literally vibrated this I think room. that might actually <laughs> picked it up, possibly. That was, that was crazy. Um, Alright, anyway. Um, thank you to our six subscribers and everybody else for watching out there. Subscribe if you like what you see. Or, you know, just like to make fun of us and be like, haha, those idiots. Um, so like it, hit it, share it, and leave us your comments on what you want to see next, and thanks for watching!